Hi everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Luxuries and Stargazer Soaps. I am making a limited edition holiday soap with my daughter, my 11 year old. <laughs> and um, this one she's designed, this is a fragrance she really wanted me to make. I wasn't going to, but she begged me to. <laughs> and I made her a deal, you make it with me and I'll make it. So here we are. Hope you can see, it's kind of, um, it's dark. And our lighting isn't the greatest. Okay, red and green, equal parts. I mean, gold and red. So this is a, it's a definite Christmas scent. I smell a lot of um, Christmas tree in this fragrance. How does that look? Good. And the rest of that's gonna be green, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a Christmas fragrance, for sure. Christmas trees. But the scent is not supposed to be a heavy Christmas tree. It's got evergreen and um, what are the things that grow on evergreen trees? Pine, pine cones. Pine cones. Thank you. Um, here. But I can definitely. Oh wow! Hello. Well, that just kind of sums up my day right there. That is the first time I have ever done that. I'm going to try to scrape everything I can off of this. See, I'm showing you what not to do. Do you see? Yeah. So don't do that. Okay. Hopefully that will be the last lesson of the night. Okay. I don't even remember what I was saying. We were talking about the scent. I uh, don't know what we're going to call this. Um, I could call it Christmas tree, but I don't I don't know. Christmas joy. Christmas joy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not a bad idea. All right, we'll we'll brainstorm and come up with some ideas, but um I was just going to do this one in candles because I think around the holidays you have to have a pine scented candle and I didn't want just a pure pine which is why I went for this fragrance. Can you get another paper towel ready for me please? Yeah. Thank you. Um, oh boy that color is a, a sticker. So gold. But anyway I didn't want just a pure pine scent that should lighten up. It won't stay quite that orange. This is a nice, nice pine scent, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Well, she picked this one out, and she's my girly girl. She normally likes the really fruity ones, um, but this one she insisted we do in a soap as well. So I agreed to do a small batch. red which is a blend of a bunch of different reds and now we're going to add the fragrance this is supposed to be a fast mover and it's supposed to discolor stir these. I'm about out of soaping dishes. I have one more batch to make tonight and I'm going to have to change my plan <laughs> because I don't have enough dishes left to make the soap. So I might change what I'm making. I haven't decided yet. I'm definitely going to make one more batch though. It needs to be done. I'm almost done with all of my holiday soaps. I'm also getting ready for the holidays, I guess. Um, I have about 200 bars sitting here that I need to wrap this week. And another, 
don't know, three or four hundred that are curing. And a couple hundred more bars that I need to make. But we have a lot of shows and I will sell most of this, if not all. This is a really pretty green. It's got a little bit of a shimmer to it. Yeah, I like it. Me too. I did a good job picking out the green. Okay. It's still pretty fluid. So I'm going to start and I'm going to pour the base. And help me remember, what is it that we decided we were going to do? Um, uh, Are um, we going to do a drop swirl? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do this, okay? Okay. Gold or red first? Red. All right. So I'm just going to do a, a line, just a thin line, just kind of back and forth. Did you see how I went in different places? Yeah. And I'm going to do the gold. Okay. Are you watching? Yeah. And then I'll do the green because it's kind of heavy, okay? Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'll take that. Okay. Go for it. So, the red. Yep. Make sure you get to your edges. Okay, now do the gold. Okay. She even kicked me out of my spot. So keep it moving. Make sure you go all the way down. Okay, now let me back in a second to the green. Go. Be careful about not sticking it in the soap on the table though. Okay, I'll let you do another pass. Okay. And then I'll finish it off. Okay, okay. go ahead. A scientist. This is her science project for the day. That's good. And art. Make it art and science, huh? Okay. Good. It's starting to get a little thick, I think. Actually, not too bad. The last soap I did today got thick unexpectedly. This one I expect to be thick and it's, oh yeah, that's getting a little thicker. Okay. Whoops. It's really fun to do it with you. Yeah, it's really fun to do it with you. Don't get used to this though, because I'm not going to let you guys pour soap all the time. <laughs> But I thought we would do it today for fun. And, and the girls are so involved when I do holiday shows. I wanted them to be able to tell people about the soap they got to help mom make. And people always ask them, oh, do you make soap with your mom? And So then they have to explain, well, we help pick out the colors and fragrances, but we don't make the soap, blah, blah, blah. But you know, it's, it's not, this is not exactly the safest thing in the world. But it's not the most dangerous thing in the world either. And they fully understand the dangers of lye and soap making. And they didn't handle the lye water at all. That was all me. And she's in her apron and her gloves and her goggles. They have a very healthy respect for the dangers of soap making and lie. And they've seen me get burned. They understand, so. I would rather them learn this way with me than the hard way. Because they were curious and or they got hurt or something. Huh? Yeah. But now, when people go, oh, do you make soap? You can go, well, I got to do this one. Huh. Yeah.
It's thick, oh, thick, thick. Okay, so we are not swirling this, right? This is what it is, right? Yeah, I agree. Sometimes when you swirl, you lose your pretty colors or they muddle a little bit, and I'd be afraid to muddle this one. Do you know what muddle looks? Muddle means? Um, to lose its color. Kind of. It's when they kind of mix together. You know how like when you have Play-Doh and you oh, use yeah. more than one color and then they kind of oh, like turn yeah. brown in spots? Yeah. It's like that. Or like what it just did down here. That muddled just a little bit, but that's okay. It's just the, the gold and the green, so that'll be just fine. I'm going to try to scrape out as much as I can. I've been asked a lot lately, in one of my videos I mentioned that I don't wash my soap dishes for four days, and I have like 40 comments wanting to know why. It's because I let my soap, so my soap batter saponify in my dishes. I think that if you wash your dishes um, while your soap is like this, you run the risk of it um, saponifying in your pipes. And I know people that have happened to, they've had to have their pipes totally redone. I know some plumbers who have also said, don't do that. And my husband, who is a physicist and a chemist for a living, has forbidden me to do that as well. We don't want the expense. So. I love the dots on there. Yeah, they won't stay dots. I know. So that's why. If you do do that, you're going to run the risk of having plumbing issues um, later on. You know, I've heard people say, oh, you just turn on really hot water and run it through that way. And you know what? To each his own. But... I am not going to take that chance. But that's why I wait four days. And it's not a big deal at all. We just um, let them soak with water and use a scrub, a scrubber, and they come clean. And then you don't have to deal with the oiliness that you can sometimes have with fresh soap dishes. Oh, that's cool. You like that? Yeah. Looks like a heart. Yeah, I know you love it when I do it like this, which is why I did it like that. Just for you, because I love you. <laughs> All right, glitter or no glitter? Mm, glitter. Glitter? Where is my glitter? All right, here's Christmas tree, Christmas joy, Christmas memories, holiday seasons, greetings, I don't know, but... um. Don't go anywhere, we will have the cutting on the back half of this. Okay, here is my 11 year old soap out of the mold. You go color, dear. It's a little darker than I think we anticipated, but it's okay. I think we're happy with the color. You happy with the color? Yeah. I'm just doing the other side. Here. Cut off a in piece there. And we've been talking about what to name this, and we decided, we talked about, what we talked about? Oh, Christmas tree, a couple of other things, I don't remember what, everything we talked about, but what did we decide on, you remember? Um, did you forget already? Yeah. Um, Me too. <laughs> oh, okay. Pineberry. Pineberry, yeah. Pineberry, because it does definitely have the pine in it, but there's a bit of a sweetness behind it as well. Pineberry is what we're going to call it. I can't see if I've got this in the camera or not. There's a glare on my little monitor. Pretty cool. I like yeah, it with the drops. I really like it. You did a good job. I like how I like the top a lot. Mm -hmm. The top is really pretty.
you did a good job. Oops, I just kind of bumped the top there. really big on that one. I think we'll cut that in half. All right, so here is pine berry. This will be cured um, sometime mid-October 2016 and available on my website at stargazerluxuries.com. Thanks for watching. Bye!